Hello. Hi. Welcome to TechnoGrid. In this video, we are going to show you a hospital management system using ASP.NET MVC. Usually in older days, to book an appointment, we have to go and stand in queues near hospitals and clinics. And we may not be know the available doctor's list also. So to overcome these issues, we have come up with a system where in which a patient can book an appointment through the website from his home only. Here in this system, we have three modules. We'll show you later on each in the sense admin module, patient module and the doctor module. Three different users can access through this website. We have developed this code using uh, C sharp and we have done in Visual Studio. When you just run this code, this is the web page you will see. In this web page, as you can see, we have three buttons, Home, Register and Login. Let me go through you each of the functionalities. Initially, we will start with Register. As we click on the uh, Register button, it uh, asks all the details. We will start with uh, giving the username, for example, we will give Test, first name and some many, many thing. We will provide an email ID. Initially, any user has to be registered. Has to register to the system. User role, for example, we have three rows as I told you. We'll start with uh, admin. I mean, in the sense admin role. Yeah. Password. We have to give a valid password because validation all is they are running the code. So we have to include an uppercase and the lowercase actors and special characters also. You have to remember the username. Test. We click on register as you can see the details has been registered and we log in using those details test password ah this is the admin page as you can see here admin has these five options here he can add department you can see the department list also these are the previous departments which we had added you just you click here just click on add department give the name of the department give the description and show the status as active or inactive to create these are the departments for example in a hospital we'll have cardiology ENT neurology everything these are the departments and you can even add is because he's not been to the hospital he can add doctors and he can see the list of doctors you can keep the username function email ID blood group everything We'll show you. We already added some. When you click on the list of doctors, you'll get those details. We are given here two names. He has been surgeon. Everything he's active or not. What is his education? Everything you can view here. Being an admin. Later on, patient. You can see the list of patients. You can see this number when we create a patient module. We'll come to that later on. Right by the present. This is the later uh, older one. We'll show you. Schedule. This is add schedule. You can schedule the, the appointment. At admin, he can select which doctor he want. He can schedule on the day, date time and the status also you can give you can give this schedule you can see the list of schedule too this is all uh, when it has been created appointment add appointment you can give the patient name is the right person only one patient is there you can give patient one you can give govind kumar appointment date what is the problem of that you can create here this appointment will be going to uh, will be moved to the uh, doctor uh, portal too i'll show you how it goes on Active appointments, is there any appointments booked by the patients? Right present, there is no data available. And pending appointments too. We we'll log out from here. Now we will log in as the patient. Okay. Patient. In the user role, we have to select it as patient. This usually is developed on MVC architecture, ASP.NET MVC model view controller. MVC, in the sense, while developing, will uh, it's an architectural pattern for better uh, enhancement. We have three mod model view controller. Model, in the sense, as you can see here, right. Uh, 
uh, admin module uh, patient module and doctor module these are the modules and under each module will have so many functionalities right we'll group into models that model will be converted next to views and controllers automatically in the sense automatically we can do, do it in visual studio in the view page you can see all this html part styling part you can all uh, do in the view page and controller page what we i'll show you uh, how do we control each actions before when you click on this uh, login it will be moved to the next page right this all will come in controller part now what was that patient right patient okay login usually appointment booked over here will be moved to the admin he has to uh, approve i mean approve the appointment this is the patient uh, profile here he has an option to update profile he can add his name he can update his everything he can, doctors he can see the available doctors over here see at present there are two doctors appointment you can request for an appointment for example we'll select govind kumar appointment date just we'll select a random date we'll select it as today's date only problem for example we'll give it as yeah problem will give us fever uh, will i'll click on request appointment as you can see an appointment has been requested but it is not approved okay uh, this is in your appointments uh, page here this appointment has to be approved by the admin we log out from here we'll login uh, login as an admin initially what we did you can see the appointment will be moved to his portal uh, appointment i mean the pending appointment yeah see patient name the uh, fever is the problem so he has to approve this doctor name is govind kumar patient name is uh, patient and uh, he has to update it i mean status i'm sorry uh, we have to click on the status status update doctor name is govind kumar patient update so status is updated now we can log in using patient module click on today yeah it has been requested here we'll log in as a admin now Yeah, you can see here it has been requested cold and fever. I have to approve over here. Update. Cold and fever. Uh, the, the fever was the initial one which we did, and it has been our status has been updated. Now we'll log in. We'll show the whether it is approved over here or not. Yeah, see, 
initially it was saying not approved right now that doctor name golden fever appointment id has been allotted yeah, and it status has been approved so in this way patient can check whether his approved appointments are approved or not he usually books appointments seeing the available doctors also if the doctors are available it will show in the available doctor session see you can see here those two doctors are available now we'll log in in the doctor view so we'll register as a doctor now doctor yes Okay, I'll just show you. I'm, right now, I'm not uh, giving a uh, perfect email ID. I'll show you what the error shows because we have done validation, right? We'll show that also. Uh, see, as I click on register now, it is not taking because the email ID is not a valid email address. So I have to give only valid credentials. Only then it, the registration will take. Logging in. This is the doctor uh, portal. You can see here doctor uh, active uh, appointments, pending appointments, and he can see he can also add an appointment. Being a doctor, he can select a patient and he can add that appointment too. In active appointments, see you can see here Dr. Govind Kumar, fever, cold and fever. So these are the appointments that has been uh, updated by the admin. So you can see over here. He can even do, uh, change the status if he's not available. He can remove the status and he can give on save. That will be reflected over there. And otherwise, he want, if you want, he can delete the appointment too. See, if you want, he can delete appointment. These are all the different functionalities which are added. Yeah, this is the doctor profile. In the login during and test. This is the admin uh, module appointment active appointments that uh, cold one has been deleted by the because the status was changed by the doctor so it that moment that uh, appointment has been removed so everything is interconnected in this way we can have an effective hospital management system where in which the patient doctor admin everyone has control over this but uh, only admin can have uh, authorized control because patient can't uh, delete the appointments you can only add appointments this has to be act, uh, accepted by doctor and hosp uh, admin. Either doctor or admin, anyone can accept that. In this way, this system works. For front end part, we have used uh, jQuery because uh, to have a responsive web page, we need that. And uh, HTML, CSS, basic styling, we have everything. The main concept here is ASV.NET MVC. It all runs on MVC model. This is how the project goes on. Thank you. Kindly do subscribe our uh, channel. We'll get more videos on engineering projects and every other projects. We'll get more videos. Thank you. Kindly do subscribe.